friends, I have a secret to share. I rarely mix on a palette. And today I'm gonna share why and how. Do you wanna paint with me? Well, come on, let's go. Okay, get ready for this. It's gonna feel messy and it's gonna feel weird and your palette's gonna get a little messy, but I promise you it's okay. I'm gonna pull up a color here, just a little blue, quarter inch dagger. I'm going right in for some pink and boom. This is a great exercise just to get yourself comfortable with being a little messy. So there's an aqua and another pink. Load it up on the same brush and make a swirl. Rinse your brush, grab a green, any old green, your favorite green. Now let's grab a blue. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Do you see what's happening, friends? This is exciting. Now you can add some water. And look, there was a little green on my brush still. So let's just see what happens. Add some water, blend it out. This is your first foray into mixing the color on the page and not in your palette. Blue, aqua, let's go. And a little pink, I might add. Isn't that gorgeous? Green, blend it right in. Let it mingle. When I go off screen, friends, I am rinsing my brush, nothing else. And I know you might be wondering, well, Christy, your palette, it looks like you mix on your palette. Let me tell you a little secret. We did a whole collection last year where we took photographs of the palettes I use. So we kind of did all that on purpose. That's not actually from my painting. Anyway, too funny. Grabbing a piece of scrap paper here and let's give this a try in real life. Aqua. And we make a stroke. Press, drag, wiggle, and lift. Little more aqua, we're making a leaf, friends. Now, you're gonna fill in the middle with some green, right on the page. Right on the page, now you're kind of wet and wet. Grab a little bit of yellow next, I'm feeling it. And we're just gonna keep layering these colors right on the page. I am completely bypassing the mixing palette. You don't need it. And continue on with whatever's on your brush. Press, drag, lift, two times mirrored, huh. Add some pink, yes I did, oh yes I did, friends. And then some blue right on top of it. This is your time to be bold, friends. This is your time to just throw caution to the wind and see how this feels. Aqua, right on top of that dark stuff. Uh-huh, everything's super wet, nice and juicy. I'm grabbing a peach now. My brush probably isn't completely clean, eh, not too bad. A little bit of red, oh yeah. Oh yeah, and some blue. I know you think I'm insane. At this point, you think I'm certifiable. Green, two greens, and blend that in. Make the leaf a little bigger. Now we're gonna start to blend everything together with clean water. One stroke downwards is all we needed to blend that a little bit. And I'm gonna leave that leaf alone and continue making leaves. This is uh, yellow, little bit of green was on the brush from before. And let's just see what happens. Here I am interrupting you just to check in. Don't panic about your palette getting dirty. I promise you, I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how to clean your palette without wasting any paint, promise. All right, get back to it. We're often so quick to blend and blend and blend some more, but sometimes you just gotta let gravity and the climate of the room do the blending. See what I did there? I added aqua to that leaf and then a really dark green and I'm just letting it go, letting it blend on its own. I can always come back in 20, 30 seconds and blend some more. And we're just continuing with leaves, various shades of watercolor. Look at that, friends. It's gorgeous. Are you as excited as I am? I think we should try something else because I know at this point, you're probably still fe feeling a little uncomfortable, a little unsure. And now I do wanna point something out. Look at my palette. Is it messy? Is it any messier than it was when we started? No, it's all good friends. 
Now, if you're enjoying this, will you hit the thumbs up for me on this? I would really appreciate that. That would make me feel so good. And if you haven't subscribed, now would be a good time because you don't want to miss any of this content, right? Because we are having a blast. All right, next up, same idea. We're going to just do a lemon. Now, this could be a lemon. This could easily turn into a kumquat. This could be what you need it to be. Any kind of citrus fruit, really, starting with a yellow, wet on dry, going in with a blue. All right, now you're probably like, why is she choosing a blue? Now it's more of a periwinkle, which is kind of a purple because yellow and purple are opposite each other on the color wheel. So I'm creating instant shadow by blending in, layering in a little bit of purple. I'm also putting in a little bit of orange just because it looks cool. Now everything is wet now, so we are officially in a wet on wet situation. Remember, wet on wet. Wow. Let's add a leaf using aqua. So all of those techniques that we just tried with the exercise initially and then with the leaf practice, this is all now being applied in a real life situation. Now I'm grabbing a little bit of red for added shadow. I'm just dabbing it in, a few dots to create those lemony dimples. Uh-huh. Gorgeous. How are we feeling, friends? Now I'm just adding in some yellow and I'm letting it all blend, 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 mingle, mingle, mingle. But here we are. This is mixing color on the page, not on your palette. It creates a more dynamic effect. I'm adding some detail. I know this leaf is wet, but I am adding some very loosey-goosey linear detail and seeing what happens. It's going to blend, it's going to soften. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go in and blend that out because I really didn't like how that looked and that's okay. I'm even gonna do a little lifting here and that's okay. Little quick tip, as you lift, your colors are gonna continue to mix and blend on the page, so just be aware of that. All right, now how are we feeling? Do you think I'm officially insane? It's okay. I forgive you. But this is fun, friends. Mixing on the page is so much more lively and dynamic than mixing in a palette. Just imagine just sitting there and trying to mix the quote, perfect pink. When you could just be dabbing some pink, dabbing some red onto the page, dabbing some fuchsia and seeing what happens. It's exciting. All right, let's try this with a flower. Adding some pink to the page, press, press, drag, lift, press, drag, lift. You don't really wanna point with these. So you're not gonna lift as much and for as long. I am literally going in. I've got three different pinks on the page. The first pink, a more raspberry, and now I'm even adding a peach. And I'm just letting them touch each other right next to each other and see what happens. Add some water into these and let them blend, blend, blend. Look at that water. Nothing like a fresh, clean, loaded brush of water dabbed onto a petal or onto a part of the page that you want to smooth out. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Water is the ultimate smoother. Is that a word? Smoother? I guess it is. Now I'm lifting. I added all that water. Now I can lift and Lifting, remember, creates more blending, creates more mixing on the page. Yes, I did just add some blue, periwinkle, purpley nonsense, and it is gorgeous nonsense. Ugh, this style of painting gets me so excited because it makes you know, not just think, it makes you know you're alive. It just gets the blood pumping. I added some yellow there, added some green and I am feeling it. I am loving life. Let's do a leaf. Press, drag, and lift. Press, drag, and lift. Continue on. Let that paint run out a little bit. Pick up another color and see what happens. Look at that aqua. Boom. This is mixing on the page again in real life, friends. Give that thumbs up a little bit of love. I would appreciate it so much. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel because you don't want to miss a beat. Are we having fun yet? Oh, yes, we are. What I hope you take from this is the simple understanding that there's not one way to paint and get color 
on the page. There are so many ways. And if this way resonates with you, run with it and run fast because it is incredibly freeing. So much fun, friends. A little bit of peach there. Look at that. Remember, when the page is wet, it's an opportunity. The wet page is an opportunity. Now let's take a look at this palette after all of that painting and all of that double, triple dipping. It's really not messy. I mean, you can see some, some blue in the pinks and some, some yellows in the greens, but it's okay. Now watch what I do sometimes when things get a little crazy on my palette. I will literally go in with some clean water, a clean brush, and I will clean out some of the unwanted color from the pans. Very simple. You waste a little bit of paint, but honestly, if you don't wanna dab like I am, just scoop up that paint on a brush and paint with it. Paint something with it. Use this palette cleaning time to get creative and to practice your strokes a little bit. And then you don't have to feel like you wasted paint. Okay, friends, this has been a blast. I wanna hear in comments how you're feeling. Did you try it? Are you panicking? Let me walk you through it. Let's keep the conversation going. Happy, happy, happy painting, friends. Until next time.